that we need to continue to stand strong to defend everybody's rights and freedoms. So, as a proud member of the Maple Syrup Mega movement, <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> Maple Syrup Mega movement, huh? All right, Freeland, let's go with it. All right, let's go with that. Maple Syrup Mega. Um, as a proud member of the Maple Syrup me Mega movement. I can't, I can't even say it without bursting into laughter. Um, don't forget, we are the Maple Syrup Mega uh, thing, okay? Uh, movement, that's the word. Maple Syrup Mega movement. If we're the Maple Syrup Mega movement and we're just doing U.S. politics, what the hell is it that they're doing? Because let's be realistic here. I don't recall a U.S. presidential candidate coming to Pierre Polyev's caucus retreat. But yet you, the liberals, you had Hillary Clinton come to yours. As you scream and shout about Polyev is the Trump of the North, okay? Your recent actions since your little caucus meeting there where you had your little revolt, um, you guys have picked up the Democrats' talking points and strategies. Like, sorry, it's very windy. I'm trying to block the wind for you, but sometimes it's difficult. Um, that is so cool. I love it. I guess these are what do they call tumbleweeds. These are so cool. Anyway, uh, off topic. Maple syrup mega. So you guys have taken up the Democrat strategy. Camilla Harris. Oh, no, sorry. They all get mad at you if you say the name wrong. Uh, and I'm horrible at names. Oh, God, what is it now? Come all over me, Harris? No. Um, Kamala Harris? I, I can't remember her name. I'm sorry. I'm really horrible with names. The Democrat representative running for the presidency that took over for Joe Biden. She's the vice president. Ooh, that wind is something. She's the vice president. Okay, if you listen to her when she does any kind of interviews or talks to people, podcasts, or anything. She's got one talking point, one talking point only. Okay? And that talking point is Trump bad. She gets angry and pissed off about Trump and da-da-da-da-da. But she doesn't answer any freaking questions about, you know, how is she going to change the situation in America for Americans? She doesn't talk about that stuff. And nor do the liberals anymore. Since that caucus meeting, you've come out all guns blazing. Polly a bad. Polly a bad. Maple syrup mega. And you're, you're projecting yourself. You're becoming the American political system in Canada. And you're calling your opposition maple syrup MAGA. But you're actually doing it. See, the difference is Polyev is actually talking to the people and hearing what the people have. Yeah, we have very similar gripes in Canada as they do in the U.S. We have very similar ones. But we have different ones as well. And those are the ones where you see the huge difference between Polyev and Trump. You know, we want to get rid of the carbon tax. They don't have a carbon tax in the U.S. None of that nonsense. We, it's not that we want to give up on environmentalism. It's just we can't afford a carbon tax. <laughs> it's no different than me driving Kitty, but yet I spend most of my time trying to collect power via solar. Kitty is a means to do what I need to do to survive. So she's not, you know, 
I guess environmentally friendly for your liking because she's an older truck. Um, but you, you've taken up Cam Camilla, 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 whatever her name is. You've taken up her talking points of blowing off every single thing and saying conservative is bad. You've even taken it to the point that you've broken the rules of parliament, or sorry, maybe not the rules. Well, I, I, the perceived rules of parliament in my eyes. You see, parliament is designed for the opposition to question the government on their policies. But when you get asked questions now, instead of, well, I mean, you never answered any questions. No politician answers any freaking questions when they're in parliament these days. <clears throat> More than just these days. Is that my book? No. Um, it's been going on for a long time. Nobody answers questions. But what you do do now is you start asking the opposition questions. Every time you're asked a question, you start questioning the opposition. No, 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 no. The opposition is not the government. Parliament is designed with checks and balances on the government. You are the government in power right now. The Liberal Party of Canada is the government in power. So you are under scrutiny and that is Parliament's role. That is the role of the opposition. You have taken the role I mean, I guess you're doing prep work for after the next election and you're going to be, this, you think you're going to be the opposition? <laughs> I, I'm not, I, <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. Oh, that's like uh, Jagmeet Singh saying when he's prime minister. Oh, my God, that is hilarious. Um, but you're, you've gotten to the point that all you do is scream and yell about Polyev and the Conservatives. You're not doing anything for Canadians. You're sticking with status quo. You're not changing anything. The number one thing Canadians want is to get rid of that carbon tax because it's made it unaffordable for Canadians. Um, you can't even address that. You won't address that other than just say, no, carbon tax, good. But it's not good. It's good for your pocketbook it's good for your liberal membership uh, insider trading. But for Canadians, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just the maple syrup MAGA group, right? So if we're maple syrup MAGA, Why are you, why are you copying come all over me, Harris? Huh. Interesting. Talk about hypocrisy. Welcome to the fringe.